The sun is up, it's a beautiful day. My beginning. Well, hello, all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to the Hewitt Homestead. Today, we're going to have a little tailgate talk, a little product review of the Poulon Pro 20 inch bar. I purchased this chainsaw probably two and a half years ago uh, after Hurricane Irma had a uh, a couple of small trees that got blown over, wanted to get them chopped up and other, get other branches and stuff cleared up out of the yard. And uh, so, you know, I was looking to be as uh, cost effective as possible, knowing that it wasn't going to be a heavy duty use kind of saw, but just a small uh, sporadic here and there kind of usage thing. Uh, since then, I've had it two and a half years now. <clears throat> the first year I used it for the hurricane cleanup. Second year, Last year, I used it for um, a few small trees and uh, good-sized branches around my house in the backyard. Uh, we've got videos of that on my in uh, way, way back. If you want to go back to the channel, um, it's been a decent saw. I have not been the best caretaker of the blade until recently, um, but. As I've been using it a lot now in these last couple of months here on the new off-grid property, I, uh, I've put a lot of hours on it, um, a lot of usage, a lot of sharpenings on the blade, um, a, lot of, a lot of everything. And at this point, I, I mean, I, I would still not even come close to what like a professional uh, would, the kind of usage it would get from like a professional where it gets used several hours a day. I've maybe had five or six days where it was probably run for a couple of hours. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, it was the stuff I talked to you about before. Maybe maybe a handful of hours cumulatively through the last two years prior to that. So I wouldn't say I've used it a great deal, although I've used it a lot more recently than I ever have. Um, here's my take on it. What I'm experiencing now is... Um, the, the rev doesn't really seem to want to go up and stay up. When I freshly clean the air filter um, and, and uh, you know, lube it up and stuff, it works a little better, but quickly begins to lose power and RPM. Um, it is a, one thing I do like about it, it is a cleanable slash washable air filter. Okay. And uh, I did not clean it after the last time I used it. It's pretty dirty right now. But uh, it's almost got this um, synthetic uh, material here that uh, it's not paper. It can be washed, cleaned, and, uh, and put, dried off really good and put back in place. So I do like that about it. You're not constantly trying to buy a bunch of replacement air filters. Uh, I haven't even checked the spark plug. Like I said, it cranks just fine. It runs just fine. I'm just losing RPM. Uh, quickly as soon as it as soon as it gets hot uh, it, 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 well, it warms up it runs good and then after running it for 15 or 20 minutes it just doesn't want to uh, uh, you know give me full power but it still does crank well crank very easy follow the instructions push the primer bolt five times put it on choke pull it four times put it half choke pull it four or five times and it cranks up almost every time like clockwork happy with that the only other thing that I would say um, so well, let me finish that train of thought I'm wondering if I'm beginning to wear out the rings rings already on the piston and uh, and maybe I'm losing compression and maybe I'm losing rpm I don't know for sure I'm not that much of a mechanic of small engines um, you know but uh, I would have to get a you know check tester on the compression tester on the what I ain't gonna do all that uh, it's not worth it the saw I want to say was hundred and forty to hundred and sixty dollars somewhere in there at Home Depot two and a half years ago I don't know what they're running now but they probably haven't gone up much um, the only other thing I think I could do to increase performance is to get a better chain I've seen I've worked with my dad's steel uh, saws and he's got uh, like a homeowner's version and he's got like a professional uh, farm boss version and the chains on both of those are the same and they're much different than this they seem to have actually a little more spacing between the teeth so they probably actually have less teeth but the the uh, 
the teeth are a different shape. Uh, the the um, what is this little thing that's in front of each tooth? The depth gauge is much different. This depth gauge almost looks like a blunt second tooth. Uh, it goes up and bends over, and it's on an angle. Whereas the steel just has like a little hump, a little hump there. Uh, which makes it difficult to sh uh, sharpen this blade and keep the depth gauges ground down at the right height with the uh, with the with the actual teeth. So um, I've been. It takes me a long a long time to sharpen this blade uh, and also touch up the depth gauges so that I'm not just making sawdust, but I'm actually taking some decent little shavings out of the wood. Um, so I think, but I, that could easily be fixed with me purchasing a new blade. Even if I, at this point, I think I've got enough hours on this blade to really uh, consider that this blade is pretty much done anyways. Um, and that could be part of the problem with my RPMs. I, I don't know, does a dull blade keep your saw from revving all the way up? Possibly, that would make sense. Uh, so I'm gonna get a new blade on this one because the motor, like I said, if I clean it up really good, I can still get a good probably hour out of it with full power until it starts giving me problems again. But with a good, sharp, probably steel blade on here, uh, I think I'll get better uh, usage out of it. So overall, I'm extremely ha happy, especially for 150, 160 bucks. Uh, what it's been able to do for me out here has been has been wonderful. I'm very happy with that. So. If you're a homeowner, if you're a small farm homesteader, if you don't foresee yourself, um, you know, clearing 11, <laughs> clearing 11 acres of land, like what is the task I have ahead of me to do, then I would say go ahead and go for it. Save the money, get you a Poulon, um, Poulon Pro. We'll use that term loosely, okay? Poulon Pro. Uh, but uh, 20 inch bar, uh, you know, the I've had the other uh, a long time ago. I had the Poulon little tiny thing, I think a 16 inch bar. And uh, that thing worked really well as a doorstop. Um, and that was about it. So anyways, guys, that's my take on the Poulon Pro. Small farms, light usage, save a hundred bucks. Get this, you'll, you'll get years of usage out of it for the amount that you're going to use it. Um, if you've got a buck two or three cords of firewood every year to, uh, to um, you know, heat your house. Eh, it's a maybe on that. Only, I would say only if you, you are, know that you're gonna treat your equipment very well and you're gonna put a really good chain on there. Uh, don't, I would not suggest the chains that come, come with them. All right, guys, awesome. Well, this is a short video for today. I just wanna get that out there because uh, it was a little too much and too much time and too long to f just fit in with my regular vlogs and I uh, figured I could just put this out there for you know uh, people's information even if they have no desire and watching homestead and uh, off-grid land clearing vlogs things like that so anyways guys appreciate every single one of you love you if you do think you might be interested in uh, checking out uh, what it's like to clear 11 acres of raw land to carve out your own homestead then subscribe to the channel and follow us along our adventures here down in Florida uh, where if the mosquitoes don't kill us the heat will okay and of course we've always got to dodge the occasional alligator in the river in the back of our property I'm just kidding I haven't seen any alligator since we moved in but I did see one before we moved in but anyways all right I'm getting off another subject y'all guys have a blessed day and uh, I hope you uh, subscribe I hope you like this video and we'll see you again real soon God bless bye bye